Next week, I'm on holiday from work and headed off onto another adventure. Not quite sure where though, since COVID is still happening. And I think I need a travel outfit to go with that because you don't already have enough clothes in your closet. But instead of making it from scratch, I'm going to repurpose some of Kelly's old clothes. Just as a reminder, Pele is tall and I'm short, which means there's going to be a bit of altering that needs to be made to these shirts. For the first piece, I'm going to create a sleeveless hoodie. The type that says, I'm too cool for sleeves, but if it gets too cold out, I'll cover my head to keep warm. Makes total sense, no? And for the second piece, I'm going to transform it into a polo shirt for those moments when you want to go somewhere nice and fancy for dinner, like Red Lobster. I'm going to look at some of the fabric that I have left over from some of the previous projects that I've done and see what I can use and muster up. Ooh, I kind of like this one here. For the sleeveless hoodie, I fold the shirt in half and cut down the sides and sleeves to take away some of the bulk. To make the neck hole smaller, I sew in about an inch on each side of the shoulder and cut out the excess fabric. I will use some of this fabric from that jacket that I made a while back and then I'm going to use this hood as a template. For the hood, you'll need four pieces. So here, I fold the fabric in half and then again in half to get four sides. I then trace out the outline from the existing hoodie and cut out the pieces. So here for the hoodie, we're going to place them right sides facing each other and then sew it across this line here. I then flip one of the pieces right side out and line it up with the other piece so that the right sides are facing each other. Then, I pin them in place across the front sides of the hood and sew it together. With the right sides of the hood and the shirt facing each other, I then pin the hood across the neckline and then sew it in place. I then fold in the sides of the shirt about half an inch to seal off the raw edges. This is important if you want to have a clean hem around the sleeves. So here what I'm doing is I'm just lining this up and then going to stitch the sides together. I cut out about an inch from the bottom of the shirt and with the shirt inside out, I fold up about an inch and then tuck in about half an inch and sew in the hem. Really nice outside and I'm, oh, can I even get the door open? There we go. As I was saying, it's really nice outside and I want to get a bit of sun and take a bit of a break. Gotta enjoy the outdoors while it's still here because soon enough, winter will be just around the corner. Time to get a bit of sun. Kind of dozed off while I was out there. Anyway, back to working on the shirt. To turn the second shirt into polo, I used an existing polo to use as a template for sizing. I fold the shirts in half, line them up, and start cutting out the outline of the polo, adding in about half an inch seam allowance. For the front panel, I take a bit more off of the neckline to make it deeper than the back panel. I then cut out the sleeves, adding in half an inch seam allowance. Next, I draw out a three and a half inch by eight inch rectangle to make the placket, which you'll need two pieces of. Okay, so from here on the front of the shirt, I made kind of like a little notch a bit of a cut down where the center is and then I'm going to attach these on with a straight stitch just down the center here leaving about an inch free and then doing the same thing here, leaving about an inch. When sewing on the plackets, make sure that the right side is facing the right side of the shirt. So I ironed this down in place and then with that all sewn in, I'm going to cut all the way straight down to where we have it over here, so down to where the stitches are. And from here, I'm going to stuff this down below here, just hide it for now, and then fold this in half, and we're going to slide this in like that, and this one here as well, like that. So we have our plackets. Once that is in place, then just stitching it on the inside here. With the plackets in place, I then sew the shoulders together, right sides facing each other. Next, I make the collar by cutting out a 16 inch by 6 inch piece of fabric, fold it in half, sew down the short edges, and flip it inside out. Here I've pinned the collar all around the neck, and the way that I did it here is that I folded this part way, and over here, instead of putting it all the way to the edge, I just put it slightly about a uh, half an inch, and then we're just gonna sew this straight through and I did the same thing on the other side over here so see that it's just like half an inch. Once the collar is sewn in place I then take the sleeves and sew them onto the shirt. Then starting from the armpit I sew down the side of the arm and then back at the armpit going down the side of the shirt to seal it in place. Because I couldn't find my buttonhole foot I manually sewn on a buttonhole using a zigzag stitch going down on one side and back up the other on the left placket. Then on the right placket I sewn on the button in place to complete the top. Okay.